It is great to have a little more young. Ibig sabihin, buhay. Dan yin, patay, hindi gumagalaw. Okay? Magandang ano po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman po si Yuri Salto. So, darn with me. Ano po ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon? Araw na ito. It's all about important ways to protect your feng shui. Ako po si Yuri Saito, brand ambassador ng World of Feng Shui and Business Associate. Sa lahat po na hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, just click the button and kalimbangin na lahat para ma-notify kayo sa susunod na mga upcoming videos ko. And please share po. So now, this is the important ways to protect your feng shui. Overcoming bad energy from the 10 direction. Ano yun? Ano kaya yun? Overcoming bad energy with the 10 direction. All direction, lahat ng direction carry a small amount of bad energy. No matter how auspicious is it, it is for the year. Kahit na, ano, swerte, nandun pa rin yung bad energy. These are known as the afflictions of 10 directions. Which include all eight compass. Eight compass. Ano yun? Direction as well as from the top and bottom. Eight direction. Alam niyo yun? Eight direction is ano? Ah, may nine grids tayo. So east, west, north, ah north east. Kanya na yun eight direction yun. So ngayon, eto. Ah. On the days are indicated as bad on the almanac. So, we need the almanac. Ito pa rin yung almanac. This is the one that I am using to know what is the good day and bad day of the day. And this diary too. Diary is the one that you can know who is the bad day today and the best day. Best day of animal sign at dito rin natin makikita lahat ng renovation, everything that you want to know um, business anong tawag dito, writing uh, anong tawag dito, signing contract marriage, move house travel, renovation, nandito po lahat dito po sa almanac na ito and here ito naman, you can see here ano, seeing a doctor uh, signing contract, gambling Starting reno, starting construction, buying a clothes and delivering a baby. Napaka informative po. So, ngayon, on days that are indicated as bad on the almanac, or an or a day where a bad flying star flies in, the bad energy from this direction can act as a trigger to amplify bad luck. So. Kami, yung mga nakakaalam po ng, ng mga ano, ng, kung paano namin gamitin ito. And this one, napaka ano, useful po. So, it is a good idea to use some elemental feng shui to suppress these small amounts of bad energy. These are, the, uh, these are partic particularly Useful for days when you are planning to be away from the house on business or on holiday. These cures keep your house safe from affliction of ten direction. Ato lang. It's only the almanac. It's really very informative. Meron po tayong darating na bagong almanac this September, I think. Nakapag-order na po ako na mga bago. I have ordered 100 pieces only and this diary as well. So, this is the almanac of Lilian 2. Ito po ang almanac ni Lilian 2. Okay, this is the almanac and this is the diary. I have already ordered this for all of you who wants to know our schedule. So, this is the, ano, anong tawag dito, magkasama po sila at Meron na rin po tayong order na uh, bagong astrological uh, book of all animal signs. So now, first, neutralize. Neutralize the bad energy from above you with light and incense. Light and incense again. 
This is the incense. You can use light and incense to lighten the energies in your home and dispel harmful energy from above. Turn on your turn on your lights and if you can shine a bright light towards the sky. Kaya lagi na open yan. Kahit mainit, hindi ko na open ang aking ano, ang aking uh, aircon or whatsoever kasi nasira ang aking ano. <laughs> <laughs> ang aking remote, okay? Uh, this dispels negative energy from above and burn incense and offer it to the local guardians into your home. Then, incense and light thins out the bad energy of a space. Kaya lagi po ako nag-i-incenso araw-araw making its negative effects less potent. Now, use the five elements to your advantage. You can use the five elements to disarm the power of energy um, coming from the eight compass direction. Ano yun? North, south, east, west, north, east, uh, north, east, northwest, south, east, and southwest. That is the eight direction. Okay? Of the compass. You must not uh, go so far. Uh, only a little bit of these elements are required. You must not go so far as to place large objects that represents these elements. Placing large obje objects could damage the intrinsic element of that sector. So only a little is recommended. Then, neutralize bad energy from the ground with luxurious plants. So I have so many plants. Diba? Energy from the ground, kung meron kayong ground, a uh, loan or ano yung garden okay energy from the ground can sometimes get to yin and this can become the source of illness and other problems this happens when there is lack of grass kung walang ano uh, walang damo lack of grass or living life on the earth counter this by Surrounding your home with luxurious evergreen plants and shrubs. Kaya marami akong mga plants sa aking surroundings. Ngayon, restoring the yin and yang balance in the tai chi of your home. Ano yung tai chi? Yung kabuuan ng bahay. We have the big tai chi and the small tai chi. What is the small tai chi? Ano si big tai chi? Ang big tai chi ay kabuuan ng bahay. Ang small tai chi ay yung per room. That is per room. Okay? Per room. So, restoring yin and yang balance in the tai chi of your home. This should be a healthy mix of each. It is great to have a little more yang. Ibig sabihin, buhay. Dan yin, patay, hindi gumagalaw. Okay? The balance of yin and yang ensures a healthy combination, combination of these complementary forces. Now, the direction. Bibigay ko sa inyo yung direction and then you will know how can you subdue with that a uh, thing okay for example northwest or west yung location na yan northwest or west ang kailangan mo diyan sa northwest or west is water put a small bowl of water not a fountain small bowl of water not a fountain remember ang fountain is southeast okay southeast okay kasi nandoon pwede kang maglagay ng plants and Pwede ka rin maglagay doon ng fountain. So, it is a small ano, bowl of water, not a fountain, on the northwest or west. Because metal, uh, west, and, uh, west and northwest is metal. But it produces water. So, a small amount of water. South, punta tayo sa south. Kinokontrol niya, ha? Kinokontrol niya. Subdue with... Kasi kay, you need to subdue. You need to control. Okay? Si water kasi exhaust ano, uh, metal. So, we need to put ano, a small amount of water in the northwest and west ng inyong bahay to subdue the element. Now, we go on the south. Kasi... Si south is fire. Fire produces earth. So, you need to put uh, earth element to subdue 
the south, which is earth, a small crystal point, not a rock. Small crystal point is enough. So we go on the north. Wood. Kino control ni wood si si ano si north si water because ano wood exhaust ano um uh, water. So we need to subdue by putting a small plant, not a tree, on the north side of your house or ano. That is wood element. So we go on the southwest or northeast, ah, east or southeast. East and southeast is wood element. So, ah, ano ang mag-ex house jaan? Ano ang ah you need to subdue by fire element. So you need to put fire, a small light, not a large one. It's only ano um kailangan natin ng ano ah we need to put ah love shade. Pwede yun. Lampshade na red. Okay? So, we go on the southwest or northeast. That is earth element. Ano ang nag-ano? Ano ang ang nage-exhaust ng earth? It is metal because earth produces metal. Metal exhaust earth. Ganon. So, ngayon, southwest or northeast subdue or um, exhaust by Metal, a small metal wind chime is enough. So we know we go on the number two. Improve your energy with symbolic enhancement. Activate the interiors of your home with excellent symbolic energizers. And this not only protect your home, they will invite good vibrations to enter your house. Now Invest a golden dragon. Wow, golden dragon. Saan mo ilalagay si golden dragon? You need to put that in the southwest of your house. Or phoenix. Kailangan mo si phoenix. Meron akong phoenix dito. I will show you my phoenix. Ang bigat niya, promise. This is the phoenix that I have. So you put this in the west side of your house or your office ang bigat niya promise super bigat maybe it's 10 kilos so a ruyi you need the ruyi eto si ruyi we have the ruyi this is the ruyi uh, it comes on ayo pakita ko na lang it comes on <laughs> we have the red yellow and blue okay this is the ruyi uh, is Aruyi strengthen the breadwinner's energy. Sino yung breadwinner? Either your husband or your wife. Pwede yan. Represents the power of the high official who has the authority to make important decisions. Place the ruyi in your home in the northwest direction. Kailangan sa northwest direction ninyo ilalagay ang ruyi. Because uh, nandyan ang ano ng patriots and kung sino yung nag-govern ng ng ano ng ng anong tawag dito ng uh, siya yung breadwinner okay breadwinner of the family kailangan ito for ano uh, to make uh, uh, to have the authority to, to to make important decisions decisions and then strengthen the mother by keeping the southwest brightly lit uh, bri brightly lit it is important uh, that southwest corner of a home should not be missing. Kailangan, ano, uh, kumpleto. Kasi yan ang lugar ng nanay. Ang lugar ng tatay ay nasa northwest. Okay? So, uh, northwest and southwest is, is really very important in our home. Okay? So, strengthen the mother by keeping the uh, southwest um, brightly lit. And it is important that the southwest corner of a home should not be missing. The southwest corner of every home should be kept clean. Kailangan malinis and free of clutter. Walang ano, walang ano, kailangan ano, walang dumi, uh, masinop. And be decorated with an auspicious symbol. Kailangan may uh, swerting symbol that benefit the earth, uh, the earth energy of the mother. Okay? 
Create a spring in your home. Ano yun? A very effective way with water is to create natural spring in your home. Or at least, that looks like a natural spring. Paano mo gagawin yun? Ngayon, select an auspicious corner of your home, inside your home, and then dig a small circular hole about, about 18 inches in diameter. Si Madam Lillian, meron yan sa loob ng bahay niya. Meron siyang ano, maliit na pool, ay ano, pond sa loob ng bahay niya. Sa totoo lang, install a pipe and then pump water through it so that it appears to spout from the ground in natural fashion. Design your drainage system to the water so the water is constantly recycled. Ang galing talaga ni Madam. Galing niya. Sa totoo lang, ceilings, ceilings can be designed to enhance and transform heaven energy. Incorporate some circular design. Kaya lang dito sa Japan, hindi pwede. Pero kung sarili mong bahay, okay. Pero sa akin naman maganda dahil puti siya. So, uh, the ceiling, uh, you can enhance and transform heaven energy uh, by incorporating some circular design into your ceilings. Uh, the circular shape is symbolic symbolic of heaven energy. And then square flow. Four pattern. I bought in a lang square ito. Square floor pattern boost foundation energy. It is a good idea to create square patterns and design on ground level floors. On your driveway, naman kung may driveway ka yo, outside or even in your garden, as this literally cements in the earth energy of your home. Staircases. Uh, determine quality of family communication O oh, yan mga staircases ha Staircases Determine quality of family ano, communication If you want the interpersonal links Between everybody living in the house To be generally harmonious And pleasant Then it is good idea to ensure that uh, Staircase is well lit And at all times And decorated the walls of staircase Corridors naman tayo Corridor, corridors influence the mood that uh, pervades a home. If you have corridors, then the best type are broad corridors and decorated with colorful art. Keep corridors well lit to create young energy, which spills into the rooms and adds to the feel, feeling of harmony in the home. Then, meron ako si Laughing Buddha is there. Get rich and happy. With the laughing Buddha. Inviting his image into the home not only brings wealth and prosperity, but it is also means that everyone living there will be happy and in perpetual good mood. Maraming salamat po. Nandit, ano, uh, dito na po nagtatapos ang aking to learn with me with how Important ways to protect your feng shui. Ano, sa lahat po nang hindi pa po nag-subscribe sa aking channel, just click the button, lahat, the tiny bell, everything, share, so that everyone can learn with me. Ako po si Yuri Saito na nagsasabing, hate what is evil and, and hold on to what is good. Do not let evil defeat you, instead conquer evil to good. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa mga nagtatangkilik sa aking YouTube channel. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sana po marami po kayong natutunan dahil sa susunod po, mga susunod na mga upcoming videos ko, marami pa po, marami pa po kami ano, ah, uh, Uh, ituturo sa inyo para at least ano malaman natin ang do's and don'ts sa ating buhay. Maraming salamat po. Bye-bye. Sana nakatulong po ako sa inyo. Thank you.